Kamini, Roy, and Loren Morning Show, War of the Roses. Shelly, you sent us a message to check up on your boyfriend, Travis, because something's going on and you feel like it's not all quite adding up right now? Yeah. So, so my friend the other day called me and she said that she just saw Travis out to lunch with another woman. And I was like, no, this doesn't sound like him. Like, it was probably like just like a, a client or something. And then my friend was telling me about the woman that she saw Travis with was wearing like this like super tight leather black dress, like looked like she was like hot to trot out on a date. And Travis was, you know, he was wearing his like button down and, and pants which he usually wears to work, but this girl was like did not look like anybody that he would be working she with. She was dressed for a date, nothing. he was dressed for work, if you had a is kind of what I'm picturing. Yeah, that's what that was what my friend was telling me. Huh. Do you wear a leather dress to work, Loren? Hell no. <laughs> I mean, at least I don't. I also wouldn't I wear a, a leather dress on a lunch date. <laughs> you wouldn't? <laughs> no. Yeah. I'd maybe wear a leather dress on a dinner date. Yeah. 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 All right. Okay. So we can all agree that the dress isn't really work appropriate, but go ahead. Now, did you ask him about this? Yeah. So I brought it up to him. Um, and he was like, oh, my God, what? it was just a new coworker. Uh, I was taking her out to lunch. I was showing her the ropes. I work with her. Like, not a big deal. You know, I was just welcoming her to the company. And, I mean, he did show me a picture of her, and she is a coworker. But I, I just hate the idea that she's, like, getting this dressed up to go out to lunch with my boyfriend. <laughs> I mean, I hate to say this, but, like, maybe it's one-sided. Like, maybe this coworker liked your boyfriend, but he's not really, you know, he could not be cheating, and she just think he's hot, and she's, like, kind of throwing herself Ooh, at him. Ooh, yeah, I can see what you're saying. You know? Is your boyfriend hot? I mean, yeah, he's hot. Okay. <laughs> hot. That's, why, that's why I get worried sometimes. Okay, all right, let's call Travis and find out who he wants to send the romantic roses to. We got all the details we need. If it is not to you, let us get as much information as we can out of him, okay? Okay. All right, here we go. All right. Hi there, I am looking for Travis, please. Speaking. Hey, Travis. My name is Katie. I'm calling from Flowers for You. We are a romantic gift company, and I have your name and number here as the winner of our Instagram tag contest. One of your friends tagged you in our post, and we are giving away $100 in beautiful free red roses for you to send to someone you love and then tell somebody about our services. Oh. <laughs> so do you have someone in mind that you would like to send romantic flowers to? I do, as a matter of fact. All right, I just need that name first. All right, if you could please send them to Shelly. Okay. And Travis, if you would record an audio recording when she scans the QR code with her phone, she'll be able to hear the sweet message from you. So I can record your message here in a second if you're ready. Uh, yeah, sure, I'm good to go. Perfect. Uh, you can record in three, two, one. Hey, baby, I love you so much. Uh, I, sorry for the confusion. Hope you love these flowers. Awesome. All right. And we will get those out to Shelly. Yeah, thank you so much. No, that's, I've never heard of anything like this before. That's really cool. Yeah. Actually, uh, now that we just finished up with that, I actually have another request, if you don't mind. Um, sure. What can I help you with? Yeah, I was wondering if you could potentially send a gift to someone else. Yeah, what do you have in mind? Yeah, um, I, if you could maybe, I don't know, like, if this would also be free or if anything. But either way, if we can just keep this off the books. Uh, absolutely. What do, you ha what do you have in mind? Who would you like to send this to? Yeah, um, do you happen to sell balloons by chance? Uh, we don't typically, but I might be able to swing something. Who is this for? Oh. Perfect, yeah. This is for someone who could really use some cheering up in my life right now. Okay, and this person's name is? Oh, it's actually my mother. No, we're not doing that. 
<laughs> Travis, it's the main Ryan the Red Morning Show. This is War of the Roses. You uh, sent the roses to your girlfriend who's on the other line and heard everything. Her name, of course, is Shelly. Shelly, uh, are you happy with the results? He sent the roses to you. Oh, my God. I'm so happy. <laughs> um, I can't believe I was feeling... Uh, hey, sorry. I'm to feeling so silly. What exactly is this? Are there... No flowers? Uh, no, Travis. There's no flowers. This is War of the Roses. We catch cheaters. Uh, you had me fooled, though. I thought for sure the second thing you asked me was going to be to another so woman. Did I. Right? I, I, I thought so, too. Travis, listen. Tell your coworker to not wear sexy leather dresses when you go out to lunch dates, okay? Or you go, <laughs> they shouldn't even be dates. When you go out to lunch for work. Of course, this is what this is about. Um uh, I don't feel comfortable telling women how to dress at work, but maybe if you want to like call her and tell her, that's yeah. all on you. Uh, I'm just so I'm so relieved. I want to say I love you. I was just checking, you know, didn't want you know anything to be coming between us. All right, <laughs> okay. There you go. Uh, a successful War of the Roses for a change here on the Mini Roy and Loren show. Good luck, you guys. Thanks. Shelly, Thank go you. shop for a leather dress. Okay. 